Well, I'm not in Arizona anymore. Okay, so I'm in Umstead State Park in Raleigh, North Carolina, site of the Umstead 100 in just a couple of days. I am walking out to the trailhead to go for a loop through the course. Uh, because of park regulations, I can't drive to the campsites in the camp area where they uh, do the start finish, but I can go out to another portion of the course and run the loop from there. So let's take a look and see what I will be doing, not once, not twice, but eight times on Saturday and Sunday. This is a critical turn because if I stay on this loop, I'll keep looping, which is fine, except I need to turn right to head back to the start finish of the loop and make it count. Here's Midgate, and this is where I will turn right to go back into camp for the start finish of each loop, and then come back out and then keep going in this direction. So now I'm on the early part of the course, coming out of that area and heading out here to the turnaround. The reason why they call this the airport spur is because, well, there's the airport. <laughs> That's airport land. Just beyond those trees, you might be able to see the tower. I saw it earlier coming through, and uh, you can hear planes land and take off from that direction. So yeah, just over there is the airport. Meanwhile, I run in this direction. And here we are back at Midgate. Except in this direction, I just run right by it. So that'll be that. This part I go straight and start the main loop and for reference that's the direction I came from where I'll be finishing the loop so here we are I was out here about a year and a half ago and Make them when the leaves are out. This place is just shrouded in shade and darkness. The fact I forgot my sunglasses 
and trees are like this. It makes it no big deal today. I don't have them, so this is nice, but man, even without the leaves, this area is kind of neat looking. Very different from the desert. So when I was out here a year and a half ago, I parked down at the end of this road coming up here. So, nice quiet morning out here. This is one of the long, steady climbs. You can call it that. But when you do it eight times, number eight will hurt. Alright. That long steady climb was even longer than I realized. I'll have to check the map and see if that's the one that's about 300 feet or so. I've got all the data back at the house, so I'll check it there. Well, here's another critical turn. At the airport on the north side of the park, I've now hit the south side of the park in the southern trailhead. Where there are houses on the southern side. So the eastern edge of the park goes along US 70 and yep that's a neighborhood on the other side of the street so yeah we're, and of course the uh, the far western side of the park which you don't see is along an interstate so we're squeezed in this nice little patch of land and that's why it's eight loops to get to the full hundred miles and yeah it's some good terrain easy to run on don't have to worry about footing too much it's the road is crowned for drainage in a couple areas more than I would like but other than that yeah this is gonna be an easier surface to run on than I normally do so that's gonna be very very nice
So let's talk about the race Saturday and uh, what may or may not happen. The weather forecast has been all over the place. The one thing that's been consistent is they expect showers in the evening on Saturday night and into Sunday. What has been inconsistent is what happens Saturday morning and temperatures. So for an example, uh, yesterday the forecast showed it being partly cloudy, highs in the mid 60s, lows in the mid 40s. This morning's forecast for Saturday shows an 80% chance of rain all day, high at 46 and a low at 38. The good news is I'm experienced at running in weird conditions like that. I've run in worse on trail races, Black Canyon 100K last year to be precise. And so I have the gear and I brought everything I need with me. So yeah, we'll see what the uh, race day conditions are like. My biggest concern physically is my little toe. The toe itself is still swollen. I know I can't wear my Eugenie toe socks that day. Even if I were able to get them on for the first couple of loops, I expect they would swell up or the toe would swell up. So I couldn't put new ones on afterwards. So I'll be buying some new trail socks later today. But other than that, I'm as ready as I can be. I feel good. I feel fit. I feel relaxed. I think my nutrition and weight is dialed in where it needs to be for this. And uh, yeah, let's just get this thing started and do this because I'm ready, you know. Yeah, I'd love to have an extra two weeks to let my foot fully heal, but that's not an option. So let's get this thing going. I'm ready to do it. Hilly section can be pretty rough, so there'll be definitely some power hiking up some of those steep hills. But it's not too bad. This short little section, so it'll be easy. Just want to save my strength for the whole hundred, and then enjoy these nice downhills. go left to continue on but I need to get to the car so we're gonna go to the car all right 12 miles in the books final long run before the race 11 and a half of those miles was on course so yeah today was a good day did it at a nice quick pace a pace quicker than I'll do on Saturday so yeah everything is hitting right on target so Excellent run. Ready for Saturday.